Hello you guys, you remember my closet. Welcome back to my closet. I'm at my makeup area right now. Just finished doing my hair and my makeup for the day. We got a busy day ahead of us and I thought I would pick up the camera, vlog today, share with you guys everything that's going down. Um, last time you guys saw me, I was recovering from surgery and now that you guys are seeing me, you are seeing me at almost three weeks out before my wedding, which is absolutely insane. Um, I'm really, really excited, don't get me wrong, but I feel a lot of like, ah, like everything needs to be done right now. Um, so yeah, that's basically how I'm feeling. But today's video is gonna be actually super exciting though, so don't get me wrong. Um, I'm just I have my dress fitting today, which is super exciting. I will bring you guys along, but I'm not gonna be showing you guys the dress just because that's not gonna be a surprise then at the end of the day. And Steve sometimes watches my videos, so I don't want him to see anything. Um, but that is what's going down today. We're also doing a ton of wedding things as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna be sharing with you guys everything so today's kind of going to be like an og vlog style i just want to kind of bring you guys along and update you as everything comes um share with you guys what i've been making what i've been up to and i'm gonna show you guys my outfit today as well because i do think it's actually super cute and i really like it so i'm gonna show you guys my outfit um like i said i just finished doing my hair and makeup i like to style my hair and makeup somewhat relative to what I'd be wearing on the wedding day. That's one of my tips is just to kind of get a visual on if you like the way you want your hair and your makeup for your wedding day so you're not questioning things on the actual day. But one of my other biggest tips is to wear the jewelry that you're gonna be wearing on your wedding day, wear it to your dress fitting. So I wanna share with you guys the two pieces I'm gonna put in today. These are from the brand Ana Luisa Jewelry. Such a pretty stunning brand. I kind of am going more towards the dainty jewelry route i don't really want i don't even think i'm gonna be wearing any necklaces i think i'm just gonna make it about the ears and about the rings and just kind of call it a day but i wanted to find really cute and subtle dainty pieces i'm gonna be wearing like celestial star pieces in my hair so i wanted something to kind of go with that theme but be very very minimal and i found these two pieces from ana luisa jewelry that i'm gonna share with you guys today so if you don't already know about ana luisa jewelry this brand is based out of new york which is awesome because it's all local and their pieces are of made of like exceptional quality they're all basically tarnish free and long lasting pieces they will only use the best metals possible for their pieces and they also are marketed at really fair prices so there's no luxury markups um, usually everything is starting about $39 um, and everything is carbon neutral one of their goals that they set for 2020 is to be a net zero carbon footprint brand which I think is awesome I like to use a lot of uh, brands that are aware of their carbon footprint so having a jewelry brand that does that as well is like so awesome to me having a sustainable brand i think is like one of the key things that a lot of people look for it's something that i look for in a lot of things and especially in jewelry because jewelry is a piece that you are going to be investing in and hopefully wearing for years and years so having a brand that really has a strong core value to themselves i think is super important it's important to me i don't know about you guys but i think that is absolutely awesome okay so i zoomed you guys in a little bit so you guys can see what i'm wearing and where i'm going to place these pieces i picked out two pieces that kind of went for the theme i was going for for myself i, I am going to be wearing like very starry celestial pieces and these were literally perfect plus these are pieces that i'll wear no matter if i'm getting married or not like these are something that i would wear any day of the week so the first pair is just this piece right here it's like a little like a uh, rectangle square with like a little star in the middle I just think it's so pretty very dainty and minimal like I said but it's also gold which is like my favorite style of jewelry and that's the kind of the style I'm gonna be wearing on the wedding so I decided to pick these up um, I'm gonna be trying these out and I'm gonna be putting these ones right in my first hole right here you guys can see very pretty very subtle okay so this next pair i just think is so pretty it's just like a little star and moon pairing i just think that's so cool i love that they don't actually match too so that's kind of something i was looking for i'm gonna actually put the moon right in my second hole on my left side so that way it's kind of a little different from this one and um i'm gonna be having this ear exposed for the wedding so i want kind of these to be on this side all right now zoom you guys in and that's basically my little earring pairing for 
my wedding dress fitting today and like trialing out the earrings for the wedding. I think it's super cute, very minimal. It's not like overstated or anything. Um, so let me know what you guys think down below if you guys like this. I think they're so pretty. And regardless, these are like pieces that I'll keep in my collection for years and years. I just think they're so stunning. All right, so that is it. That is all for the jewelry. I just want to kind of be a little bit minimal and dainty. Uh, we'll see how it looks today with the dress. I cannot wait to try it on and see the whole picture. Uh, if you guys want to check out Ana Luisa Jewelry, I will link everything down below in the description box. It'll be the first thing you see at the top. They also were so kind to give you guys a little discount code as well, which is awesome. The discount code for you guys is CassieD10. I will put it right here and I'll also put it in the description box for you guys just in case you forget. Um, but definitely go check them out, you guys. There's so many pretty pieces on there. I might even just get some more just to have because I am always loving adding new jewelry pieces to my collection. So uh, definitely go check them out. Like I said, everything will be linked down below. All right, so now I'm gonna share with you guys my outfit for the day. Excuse my neighbor mowing her lawn. She literally only mows it like once a month. It's so annoying. But anyways, um, this is my outfit for today. I just wanted to go for something super simple. Usually when I go to my dress fittings, I like to wear clothes that's easy to take on and off and I don't really have to worry about it. So um, this first piece I have on is actually, this is a flannel dress, believe it or not, but I just kind of tied it up a little bit. And uh, it's a little chilly outside, so I thought it was perfect. It's not too cold for a jacket, but it's like too warm for a t-shirt, that kind of in between. So just pop this on. And then I have on my favorite girlfriend denim jeans. You guys know I love these. I literally think they're worth every single penny. They're my absolute favorite. And then for my shoes, I'm just wearing these slide on flats from Steve Madden. I think they're still available. I'll try and link them below if they are for you guys. And then of course, I just have on my Ana Luisa earrings and my engagement ring, and that's really about it. So I am gonna go get my bag, get myself together, gotta get my wedding shoes, and then we are gonna get out the door and go to the fitting. Okay, you guys, just arrived to the city. I am actually at the shop right now. Uh, if you guys are local to Buffalo or live near Buffalo or just wanna come to Buffalo to get your dress done by someone customly, um, I get my dress done by Made by Anatomy. There's two girls there, um, Allie and Joy, and they're honestly so amazing, and I'm about to head in right now. I just needed to get my mask, um, and I brought my shoes, but I'm gonna head in right now. I'm gonna share with you guys their little space. They're so cute and um, they're honestly amazing. They specialize in dress customizations, whether it's just kind of fixing a dress you already have and you wanna change some things, um, alterations. Or if you're like me, I am wearing my mom's wedding dress, so we are doing a complete customization to her dress, changing a lot of things about it and um, yeah, it's honestly looks so good. But if you're someone like me and need your dress kind of redesigned and recustomized from an original dress, whether it's your grandmother's, gifted to you from your mom, from somebody else, whatever it may be, they're the people to go to. Honestly, they're so good. They're honestly, I think the only people in Buffalo that do this too. So they're great. <laughs> I will leave uh, their information here for you guys, but it's called Made by Anatomy. Uh, hello guys. All right. So just got out of my fitting. I failed and <laughs> didn't show you guys much inside, but that's fine. I don't want to ruin the surprise and someone seeing things when, you know, they shouldn't. But I did take home my mom's veil today. <laughs> I'm not wearing this veil, I don't think, but um, I did take home her veil today because it was with the dress and everything. Um, and I did bring my shoes. So if you guys haven't seen yet, these are my shoes I'm wearing for my wedding. I know I posted them in a vlog before, but I'm wearing blue velvet booties and I'm so excited and you guys my dress is stunning it's literal perfection it's so pretty um I was going to like I wore my hair kind of like how I thought I might want to wear it but I thought I was going to want it like more curly and now I think I like it just more of like a blowout like wave like you guys let me know down below in the comments what you think um if my hair should be more curly like my natural hair or if you think I should just have it blown out I'm kind of liking the whole smoothness so yeah that's one other thing I have to kind of iron out but oh the dress looks so good I cannot wait for you guys to see it it's so pretty so pretty <sighs> anyways all right I just did my friend Nicole's hair too. She met me in the salon and I just kind of styled up her hair. She's going out of town, so had to make her look good for the weekend. And now I'm heading home. Um, I'm gonna go home and like plan out some stuff 
for the wedding. I've got some signage stuff I'm working on. So I'm gonna go home and do that. Okay, hi, sorry. Had to move the camera because um, there was a fire truck that needed, needed to be somewhere more than I did. So I had to figure that out for a second. But um, I'm gonna head home real quick, like I said do all those things and then I will see you guys when I see you. I'm not sure when that will be, but I will check in. As you guys can tell, I am now home. <laughs> um, I am going to get changed now too, just because I wanna get out of these jeans now that I'm not doing anything else. I'm gonna be more doing some like crafting things for the remainder of the day. You are so cute. Look at this girl. Look at this girl. Um, I'm just gonna be doing some crafting things for the remainder of the day. She needs to go on a walk just to burn some energy off. So gonna get out of these clothes, change, and uh, be a little bit more comfy first. Okay, all changed, feel better. This was like my quarantine OOTD all the time when I was stuck home, was just some sweatpants and a sweater and I called it a day. So we are back in this vibe and I'm cool with it. Also, I meant to tell you guys, I trialed the earrings and they looked so pretty with the dress. Um, I'm actually very happy with them, so. I'm a little obsessed, but they look so pretty. Even my dress designer was like, those earrings are actually gorgeous. Where did you get them? So I had to tell her all about it, but I absolutely love them. So they worked out perfectly. Okay, so just took Penny for a walk. I wanna show you guys a bunch of the things that I've been kind of up to decor-wise planning for this wedding. Um, I wanna share with you guys just like things I've been putting together, ways I've been saving money because a lot, I noticed a lot of you have been asking me questions on Instagram when I've been posting like little DIY projects and I figured I would share here just kind of like things I've been doing uh, to kind of save money but also kind of get my vision the way I want it. So um, a little backstory on our wedding. We are having a very small wedding. Uh, we originally were gonna be inviting like 170 people and now it's down to 50 people and it's just kind of simple. Um, we're having you know our ceremony and reception, like dinner part the same at our venue. It's all planned social distance because they have to follow restaurant regulations. So everything's safe and stuff. Um, it's just basically COVID style. So I've just been gathering like different pieces for decor and stuff that I know I can reuse in my home and just kind of get my vision put together as well. So I'm gonna share with you guys the things I've been doing. I've been putting together little arrangements like this one. This is just like a little jar I thrifted and then I got these little bunny tail pompuses from Hobby Lobby. And I've just been putting like little arrangements together like this. So this will go either at the reception venue. Honestly, this is like a compilation. I don't really know where everything's gonna go just yet, but we'll see. I have some pompous. This is actually fake pompous um, from Hobby Lobby as well. I thrifted this jar, which is actually from Target, believe it or not. And then I also have this little pompous arrangement, um, which the pompous is from Hobby Lobby and the little vase, the brown vase down there is from, where did I get that? Um, Joanne Fabrics. And then, I'll show you guys my little my little signage hack. So, basically, you can get signage like this made on Etsy. I don't know. I want to say a size like this was like 70 to 200 dollars kind of just depending on the size you're looking for and I just kind of thought that was a little nuts for you know, a sign that's gonna be with your name on it, but you're, you're never gonna be able to reuse it again, you know what I mean? So I decided to do it myself, and what I did is I just went to my thrift store, I went to Savers, and I basically just collected a crap ton of frames. I even got more yesterday, I'll show you guys. But basically what I did is I just collected a bunch of picture frames. I took the pictures out, cleaned the glass, um, took the backing off, and basically just, I traced the wording I wanted to say with like a Sharpie marker, and then I just kind of filled it in and stuff. I might go over this again though and just add some like white paint on this part and just kind of touch that up a little bit. But for the most part, it was pretty easy. And then in the back, I just roughly painted the back gold. And yeah, that was it. I also did the same thing for our cards and gift sign. So you guys can see, I liked the little brush strokes that it had too. And again, all I did was just traced this frame. I think I got this at the dollar store or I got this at uh, Joanne Fabrics, one of the two. But yeah, basically just traced uh, printed paper. Like I wrote it on the computer and then printed it out and just put it on the back and traced it. So easy. I also did it with our table numbers. So we have all of our table numbers made. I got these frames from the dollar store. Just took out the picture. And then I actually painted the backing, like this backing was gray on the inside. So I just painted it black to match. So it looked pretty simple. And then, 
I also thought it would be nice to have an unplugged ceremony sign. So a sign that was basically just telling our guests to please not pull out your camera during the ceremony. And I saw this on Etsy and I thought it was so pretty, but it was a lot of money. I wanna say it was like $80 for a simple frame like this to have it say unplugged ceremony. So I just decided to do it to myself. And I did it the same way, just got a frame, took the picture out and traced over some printer paper. And there you have a new sign. It'll look better when it's at the venue. It'll be like propped up with a dark background so you'll be able to read it. But that's what I did for that. So yeah, that's some easy ways where you can save money. I'll show you guys some more frames and stuff I've gotten. Ignore my house. It is such a mess with wedding stuff. But like these are frames that I have collected. I just picked these up yesterday. Like I'll just end up taking these photos out. We collected some mirrors that we're going to use for the venue. I'm going to paint this part gold. Um, I already spray painted that gold yesterday. And like here's another frame. I'm going to use this for the seating chart. So this is just like a nice way to save money and not be spending so much on, you know, different decor pieces that you literally, I promise you, you can do it yourself. It's so easy and it's actually really cost effective. I honestly think that all of the material, like all of those frames I got yesterday were $50. Those ones were okay so in total with all those i want to say i only spent like 60 bucks and that's not even the price of one of these signs so that helps <laughs> that'll help you guys um i've also made the girls flower baskets that have their little flower crowns on them i'll show you i made their flower crowns because it's kind of pricey that's one of my tips too is when you're planning a wedding flowers can get crazy expensive when you start adding things on. So I decided to make my nieces flower crowns and I also just kind of had a vision for how I wanted them to look. So I just started collecting these random little pompous grass stuff and little bunny tails and I made their flower crowns. It was super easy and actually a lot of fun. <laughs> so I don't need flower crowns made. And then I just made their little flower girl baskets and there's like this like star, whoop, there's like this star ribbon on it. I just thought it was so cute. So made their little flower girl baskets and put some flower petals in. And what else? I have a collection of like a ton of stuff, but I'm just kind of gathering things now. So made some more little arrangements, um, made some mini arrangements for our cocktail tables, just like something simple. I also got some stuff for the bar area. So yeah, so just, kind of throwing some things together. That's just a few things I'm gonna share with you guys of what I'm doing. I uh, I have the all of my girls and all of our groomsmen gift baskets ready. I've got mostly the girls stuff done. I've just got a few more things to add to theirs so that they're just not here yet. And the boys stuff is almost done. Steve's just finishing adding those things. I do wanna show you guys my denim jacket. I think I touched base on this. I want to say, maybe it was on my Insta stories, but you guys are going to lose your minds when you see this denim jacket. It's not even done yet. I've got to add some more pieces to it. Uh, let me see if I have. Oh, also made our guest book sign. Okay. Okay. So yeah, you guys are going to lose your minds. I'm not going to put it on because it's basically like you got to see the back to like understand what I'm talking about. But this denim jacket is my obsession. Okay, so I wanted, I've seen this for, when we first got engaged, I saw Rudison made these denim jackets. It's actually the dress designer that I'm like kind of embodying my dress from, but I saw that they created these like denim jackets as like till death do us part, ride or die, like kind of labeling like a bridal jacket. And I was like, oh my God, that's so cool. I definitely wanna wear a denim jacket with my dress. I think it would look sick. And then just have a jacket to change into and kind of just like something fun to wear. Well, I kind of took this to the next level. I started searching on Etsy for denim jackets because I wasn't going to make it myself at first. And then I kind of saw how much they were. They were like $500 for a denim jacket. And I was like, I feel like I can do this myself. So basically I just started saving pictures that I loved and tried to get some inspiration from. And then I tried to just execute it for what I could find at the craft stores. And well, it's probably the best thing I've ever created, <laughs> quite honestly. So it's not done yet. I'll show you guys what has to be done on it, but look at this. 
you are gonna be the first people to see this. I'm not even gonna share this on my Instagram until the week of the wedding. So feel lucky that if you are watching this right now, you are gonna see this before the IG fam, okay? Okay, here we go. Da, 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 da. Oh my God, <laughs> it's so pretty. Okay, so basically what I did is I just painted my new last name on the back of this jacket. And I had a stencil for this part from the craft store, so I just painted that on. And then my my little brother actually own, like has a vinyl printer, so he vinyl printed a stencil for me for my new last name, so I was able to paint that on. I glued on the little pearls here and also the pearls up here. And then I just ironed on this little decal. <laughs> Guys, this jacket is amazing. And the best part, are the little fringe rhinestone sleeves that I think is just so insane and so freaking perfect. Can you die? I mean, I'm so stoked for this. I like want to wear it now, but I can't. But like you guys look at these sleeves. They're so pretty. They have like little stones on the bottom. So sparkly. I am like... I'm so, I'm so here for it. So the last thing that I have to do to this jacket is add some last pieces just on this part. And they're basically just these little stars, like different sizes. And they're kind of, some of them are embellished. Some of them are just like embroidered. And I just need to kind of iron them on and place them correctly. But that's the last thing I have to do. And then my jacket is complete. But <laughs> oh, I hope you guys love it. This jacket is literally my obsession. I can't tell you guys if my dress or my jacket is my favorite because I'm obsessed with both, but don't worry. I'm gonna be wearing both together. <laughs> anyways, you guys should feel lucky that you are seeing my jacket before anybody else. That's basically all I'm gonna share with you guys for right now when it comes to wedding stuff. I think tonight basically what I'm gonna work on is getting the upstairs kind of cleaned up. I'm gonna use our spare bedroom, which is also like Steve's closet. Um, I'm gonna use that room as our wedding storage room. He was so kind to let me do that. <laughs> Basically, I'm just, my closet's not on the table when it comes to storing anything, it's just for my closet. But anyways, he is gonna let me do that. So I am going to kind of clean up his room up there a little bit, put his clothes away and stuff. Um, yes, I am a good soon to be wifey, I do those things. <laughs> but he works really hard, he works a lot, so no problem. Anyways. I'm going to clean that up so I can put all the finished things up there. And then this way I can kind of see what else needs to be done. I know I have to put some extra arrangements together. Um, I mean, I do have a florist doing a lot of stuff. But, like, I do just have some, like, knick-knack things. So I've just been collecting and I figured I would add it to the wedding vibe. So I'm going to do all of this stuff and um, get it upstairs. Because, you guys, can you tell, this is all... <laughs> We can't even eat at our dining room table. This is all wedding stuff. My desk I can no longer edit at because this is all wedding stuff. Our ironing board is out because I've been working on the denim jacket. And yeah, this is just, it's a mess in this house. So if I can get a lot of our wedding stuff into one room upstairs and we can just shut the door, life will be great, okay? So that's one of my tasks for tonight. But for right now, I am going to cook some dinner. I think what I'm gonna make is some shrimp like honey garlic shrimp. I don't know. I've never made the marinade for it, but I'm just going to, I don't know. I'm just going to put something together. I'm just going to make that. So I've got broccoli out to add a veggie. Also got some green beans because I've been craving green beans randomly. Of course, I've got the shrimp and then I'm just going to maybe make some rice. Call it a day. I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, you guys just finished up making this little healthy meal. I marinated the shrimp in some honey, garlic, and what else? Uh, sesame oil and coconut aminos. Just kind of sauteed those up in those. And then i um, got some green beans and some rice on the bottom, a little jasmine rice, but not bad, not bad at all. Who's home? Look at that little tail wig. <laughs> Who's home? He always knows when he comes home. Is that daddy? Is that your dad? <laughs> Came upstairs to change real quick because I was starting to sweat in the clothes I put on earlier. So uh, we just ate dinner. I am now putting together like a picture kind of thing, like a picture collage type thing that I'm gonna put somewhere at the wedding. So I will show you guys that. Uh, you can come hang out with me while I put that together. There's not much to do when all I can 
is thinking about you. Not doing well. Don't know where you are. Cause you're not here. It's been way too long. If I could lay down beside you, I would, I would. When nothing really matters, that's all I wanna do. I hope that you see. That's basically it for today's video. I've got to kind of get myself together and get to bed soon. Um, there's a lot of wedding stuff done today. I feel kind of like drained and exhausted every time I do all of these like wedding pack days. It takes a lot out of me, but um, that's basically it. I actually have a 6.30 a.m. workout tomorrow that I need to be somewhat well rested for. So I'm going to get to bed pretty early tonight, but I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will also leave all the information, again, down below in the description box for you guys for all Luisa jewelry if you're interested. I'll be right there, including the coupon code. I'll list it here for you guys once again, but definitely take a peek at their pieces. They're honestly so beautiful. Really great quality, and as you can tell, I'm still wearing them. I'm like still obsessed. So I'm definitely probably going to go check out some more pieces just because there's so many things that caught my eye that I definitely want some more to add to my collection. But um, definitely check it out for yourselves, you guys. You will not be disappointed. But yeah, that's basically it for today's video. I'm going to get to bed. Um, I actually have another video coming very soon too, so stay tuned for that. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. There's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you.